Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Ryan Oakley here, and welcome to the wedding photography gig tutorial where I'm showing you how to create your own professional wedding photography website. And this is step three. And in step three, uh, well, first, what did we do in step two? Step two, uh, we've already uploaded our first gallery and we've uh, uh, changed some of the gallery settings in here. And now in step three, uh, we're gonna go ahead and upload uh, a few more client galleries to fill out our site. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna uh, uh, quickly change the, uh, the gallery settings for those three new galleries uh, without uh, having to go through each option in the gallery settings page. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And, uh, and I'm gonna show you if you need to make a change on multiple galleries in the gallery settings. I'm gonna show you how to quickly and easily do that as well. All right, so let's get to it. So I'm gonna go back into client, which is our category. And I'm gonna go ahead and go, and you should do this too. Let's upload a couple more galleries and fill this thing out. So hopefully you've got uh, a couple more. I'm gonna do the same. Um, I'm gonna create a new gallery in, cause it knows I'm in the client uh, um, category. I'm gonna go ahead and go new gallery here. And what's my next name? My next name for my clients are Amy and David. So let's do Amy and David. So I'll just remind everybody how to do this, even though um, we did it already once. And then uh, after I've done this, I'm going to press pause on the recording and then come back when my three new galleries are up. So um, yeah, here we go. Oh, now I forgot the name, Amy and David. And perfect. So client, perfect. Yeah, we got Amy and David as the URL preview. So I was just looking at some stuff here. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and save. And now I'm going to go find my photos. And we're Amy and David. So I'm going to go select all. I'm going to go drag and drop those in here. And then when those are all done, I'm going to do another gallery and then one more gallery. And then I'll see you when that's all uh, done uploading. All right, see you in a sec. Okay, so I've just finished uploading my gallery, my, my last gallery here. And so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, click into it. And so here's the last gallery and I'm just gonna go to client. So here you can see the four galleries that I've uploaded. So um, by all means, um, pause the, this tutorial and go ahead and, uh, and get a few galleries in there. And we'll move to the next part. So you can see uh, what I wanna do is make sure that all my galleries are customized the same, they have the same settings. So you can see the Brittany and Marks um, gallery that we had done here you can see the description info is missing on Brittany and Mark, but it's showing up for all these other ones. So I'm going to show you what we can do to change that and the, and the quickest way to do that. When you've got multiple galleries that you want to change, there's an easy way to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick any gallery. I'm going to pick Sarah and Craig here. Okay, so now that I'm in the gallery settings for uh, Sarah and Craig, what I can do is, because we had defined our quick settings in... Uh, in one of our first galleries there, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, uh, yeah, I wanna do the quick settings, make all these settings below be the same as client gallery. And apply, and then I can apply quick settings to multiple galleries, which I'm gonna go ahead and click that. So here I want Amy and this one and this one, so I'm just gonna click all three. And it defaults to smug mug default, but I'm going to go ahead and say I want it to be client gallery, which is the same as we've got for Brittany and Mark. So I'm going to go ahead and apply all. And so now as a quick test, well, I'm going to go save. Got to make sure we save it. And then there's a quick test. I am going to look for a couple of things that we know we, uh, uh, yeah. So there's the description missing or intentionally set off to keep things clean and now that's gone. So now I know all of these galleries are now uh, have the same customization. Now if I wanted to change something in here uh, into all of these, I could easily go, oops, I'll just go tools, client settings, and I would go change settings for multiple galleries. So this is where I could say, okay, by default it's got Sarah and Craig, but I also want I could say all of my galleries and then remove them. So let me go, hmm, let's not do all my galleries. Let's make sure we've got the certain ones. Because as you get, to, as you grow your 
as you grow your uh, smug mug account and get lots of galleries in here you want to make sure you're just applying to the ones that uh, that you want to so uh, last one I think Amy and David there we go so we got all four client galleries in here now if I just wanted to change one thing say I said you know geography it all of a sudden I buy a GPS camera and I don't want um, I don't want the location information showing up anywhere I can go geography change that to no when I hit save, it's going to apply to all of these galleries. So I'm going to go hit save. It's giving me a warning saying, hey, you sure we want to do this? Because this is going to have a lot of uh, impact and I'm fine with that. But thanks for the warning. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And there we go. So that is uh, the end of step two of our tutorial. And uh, come join me on step three. All right. Talk to you later.